finally another tour of Global Garden. Oh shit, that's a variegated monstera. Oh damn. <gasps> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her. I'm a houseplant lover from the Netherlands, and today I'm taking you around one of my favorite garden centers, Global Garden. There you can see the name, and I will link them below as well, of course. They usually have a lot of special plants, but I heard from different shops that actually the sale of those is going down a little bit. So I don't know what they will have for us today. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up already. It's really helpful when you do that early on. And let's get started. Two quick things before we do start. One, they do not sell online. They are a garden center, so you can only buy plants by going there. They do not ship. I always get this question after I make a video, so I just wanted to make sure I say that in the beginning. And two, I sometimes filmed much too quickly in this video, so some bits I've slowed down for your eyes to be able to see what I'm showing you. But yeah, I did my best with editing to fix it, but I'm really sorry. I hope it is not annoying. Enjoy! Let's start with some of the smaller plant aisles. Also lots of succulents over here. I'm not going to show you everything very long <laughs> because that will be a very long video. This is a very big garden center. I do really want to show you some of the things that I really like, like this cute Peperomia Moon Valley, I think it's called. Let's see. Moon Valley, 12 euros. It's very, very cute. Peperomias, Pileas. And some really, really big Monsteras. Look at this. Ooh, I wonder what these cost. I'll try and find a price on another one for you. Over on this side, some Clarinerviums. Price, 40. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Pileas, Senecios, some Fitonias, and this Peperomia that does really well in terrariums, for me at least. Look at this <laughs> huge bike full of plant pots. Let's head over to the other side. Some Syngoniums, pretty much the common types, I feel like. On this side is the Calathea Isle, Mosaica. I still love this one, even though I don't grow it. Or Bifolia. Mine is actually doing really well in the terrarium, so if you can't keep these alive, try and grow them in terrariums. <laughs> Beautiful orchids, more orchids. These pots are actually quite funky looking, funny looking. This is some kind of begonia that we'll see later on as well. Here they've made a really nice setup with a table and then the stairs behind it, which I think looks very cute. And they actually moved the Hoya aisles, the hanging plant aisles to this side. So they made a few changes. Let's see what we have. Some ivy. Here's the, some Hoyas already. What is this? Memoria, 30, Hoya Carry. Oh, I think my, shoot. <laughs> I thought who was stepping on me, but it was me. Some Hoya Australis Lisa, Syngonium. Oh, price. I don't see a price on this one, actually. More Syngoniums. Some cute Hoyas down here as well, and Dishidias, Rutusa, 15. Beautiful big Lepismium Bolivianum over here. Some Tradescantia, more Ripsalis type plants. Where are all the Hoyas? There's not so many anymore. Oh, so cute. M Epiphyllum Anguliger. 40. Oh, yas! Here's a few more. This is, oh, Dushidia Philippines, 35. Actually, a really, really full pot of the Ripsalis Paradoxa chain, or Paradoxa Minor, they call it. 40 euros. This is a huge pot. Really nice. I really enjoy growing this one in the greenhouse. Let's see. Some more Dishidia. It seems like there's more Dishidia than Hoya at the moment, but it is winter, so. Oh, a little overview while there's no one here. 
It is winter, so you definitely notice a difference. Once the spring is coming, it will be a lot more plants available again. Here's that table that I was talking about. Look at this cute setup, very pinkish gold. Some common plants, Adansoni, Monstera. Some cute terrariums actually, look at this. And the Fitonia looks beautiful and bright. Ooh, and I love seeing the moss growing. Can you see through the glass? Live moss. Let's see, here are some more smaller monsteras and a string of pearls. Do you want to know the prices? Monsteras, nine. A string of pearls, six. On the other side, this is black velvet. Uh, Alocasia, nine euros. And you can really see the, there's no extra line here. Remember when I showed you the Ninja? It definitely has different type of veining. Beautiful. I tried to show you the velvetness of these. It's always hard. Did I tell you the price? I forgot. <laughs> yes, I did. Here's a really big dragon scale. Look at this one. 15. This is my hand. Really big leaves. Some polys. String of hearts. Lots of alocasias. The next aisle over, and this looks like some kind of philodendron yellow lime, 20. It looks like one of those typically grown big leafed philodendron. You know the one I mean. Some skindapsis. Ooh, it's raining. Can you hear that? I wonder if you can hear that because I'm using my mic. Where are the skindapsis prices? Silvery Ann, 20. It's really stormy. Again, fun. We've had a lot of storms. Here's a huge philodendron lemon lime. I like this one. I have a very, very small one. I can't see a price on this big one. Here is philodendron cobra, as they call it, or Monstera stanleyanum, with nice bits of white, yellow cream variegation. The price, 40. For this one, I think the bigger one is a little bit more. Lots of silver swords as well. Prices. <laughs> Those are 30. Philodendron Hostatum. This one actually also looks quite cool. Skindapsis Exotica. Or just Skindapsis Pictus Treble. 15. This looks very nice. Skipping some of the more common plants. Ooh, we'll take a look there in a second. They usually have good stuff on the thing, but this is the special plants aisle. Let me take a step back to show you. This is the little house. This looks really cool. I don't know why, but I like the look of this now. There's lots of Hoyas. I think this is the Bunkla 3. Compacta Vergata. Cordata. No, wait. Compacta Vergata. Yes, I did say that right. <laughs> this looks like Obscura, I think. Um, maybe Rosita. Uh, some kind of... Does it have labels? Yes, it does. Calisophila, 20. Okay, Caudata, 10. Obscura, 10. Rosita, 13, 15. Compacta Vergata, 35. Sorry for skipping the prices before. Carry Splash 35. Oh, Bovata, so cute. 20. Very, very cute. Look at this one. Little Ollies. This one is actually beautiful. This Calistophila has new leaves and they're stunning. I love it. Two points of growth on this one and this one as well. Nice. These are happy, healthy Hoyas. Here is some Laconosa Black Queen Hoyas. 25. Some interesting Syngoniums as well. Erythrophyllum, 13. I'll look at the rest from the other side. Oh, the, did I show you this? Little Curtisi, 15. This looks like Sunrise. Yes, 17. Beautiful pink princesses. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 70. Whoa. Another whoa for that. They are definitely becoming much more affordable, so these are high prices. 
35 for a medium, medium, <laughs> medium silver. This also looks quite cool. Some kind of alocasia platinum, 60. And I think this is a homolumina that also looks beautiful. Flaming red, 15. Looks very nice. A peppernum amplissimum, 62. Some bird's nest anthuriums. Also hanging here, there's some macrophylla or latifolia now, variegata. Look at that new leaf, that is adorable. This is 25. And in the center, there's a huge Monstera variegata, deliciosa. Look at this. This one is 600. So the prices have definitely been higher again lately, but this is a very long plant. Let's see, this I thought was very cool. I already had a little sneak peek. The shape is, wait, where did my mic go? Hold on, can you still hear me? My mic went away. Oh. This says Elocation nobilis, 50. So it looks like the, the pattern is of a poly, but the shape is more of a jacqueline. And there's actually a cute little baby plant down here as well that looks very cool. Oh, I stepped on myself again. Nice big Cebu blue. 63. Some Monstera dubia. 50. Beautiful. And this is the platinum again. I already showed you that one from the other side. Look at these leaves though. Very nice variegation. Some more syngoniums. Syngonium, syngoniums. And this actually I found out this is a peperomia because it has a label. Peperomia sonder C. Never heard of that before, but it's interesting if you like peperomias especially. Let's see. 40, doesn't say what it is, but it does on the other one. Philodendron Red Heart, never heard of that before either. A little, it seems like the leaves are a little bit wavy on this one. And a little Gloriosum for a hundred for this one. Still quite small. And then some Monstera Siltipacana for 25. Up here, some more Hoyas. I think this is the Bangpla as well. Oh, those are 28. Rosita. Let's take a look on the desk, or whatever you call this. They have some pipers here. Look how adorable. The R35 Piper Ornatum. Tiny baby Forgetti Crystallinum hybrids. Oh, cute. 20. You can already see the velvet on the leaves. Beautiful. I see a nice fry deck here. My Galiziana Mexkowski, of course. 60. Here's some of the Epiphyllum. Uh, Cro. What was it again? I forgot. Cro something CH. I forget. But 40 euros. I love growing this one. The fern leaf cactus. Over on this side. Some more Hoyas. Rutusa. And the. Variegated Wayeti. What is the price of this now? 13. Haha. <laughs> nice. Uh, Parasitica Black Edge. 14. Some fun orchids as well. And a big carry. Calathea White Fusion. 27. Danger, danger. Let's see, ooh, there's a ghost hiding in here. Look at this. Just hanging out, 140. Beautiful. It's really hiding, look at this. You can't even access it very well, but there's one. Here's another variegated Monstera. I'm assuming that's the same price as the other one. Huge dragon, some kind of uh, pink Prince of Orange. No, philodendron red, 45. This is nice. Maybe this is what mine is, because the color looks very similar. Marantas. Asplenium variegata. Some of these are actually on sale, so if you want a good deal, come check it out. <laughs> I don't work for these people, I just love the shop. Variegated syngonium hiding back here. This is nice. Also on sale. Oh, it used to be 150. Okay, that's a lot. Now it's on sale for a half. 
and it has a long tendril down here and then some more growth points here. Look at this Stendiliana. This branch is actually really nice, the variegated branch, half white variegation also in the petioles and in the stem. This is a nice one. Over here where they used to have the Hoya rack is now a build in progress. This is a really old fashioned greenhouse that they're starting to build here. It's going to become part of the restaurant. I'm just blocking the people who are there with my hand to keep their privacy. So it's a little bit of a work in progress. That's why some of the plants are still on cards here. We'll give them grace for that. Oh, I want to check out this plant. What is this? Looks like a Florida. Really big one. Pot full of it. Really chunky stems. I like it. So there's a bit more to see, but this is the area with the rarest plants. Let's see if we can find some cool ones between the common ones which is actually why I started making these videos to catch the cool deals. Just some cool succulents. Ooh, look what this one has fruits. Oh, so nice. The person who buys this gets to pull those out. So cute. More cacti, succulents. On this side, some very big plants. That never really change. I'm sure some people buy them, but the collection always stays pretty much the same. So I'm not going to show you all of those. Look at this. We have some ficus tinica. Ficus elastica tinica. That looks very cute. Oh, prices 12 euros. And then the ruby, I think it's called. Melanie, 9, 10. But this one I think is very, very cute. I wonder what this is called. Belize 10. I really like the look of this one. The colors are very nice. Ooh, I found another Monstera and I actually found the price of this one. 200 and this leaf is really mature. Look at this. Look at the holes in the orchid aisle. Also some cool ones. This is a lady slipper, a papi, papiopedalum. Almost got confused with an Ethereum name. This is 25. These guys are almost going, gonna flower and they are Ludicia discolor for 15. Nice velvet leaves, variegated vanilla plant, 12. And over here I found the begonia section, which they moved from back where the Hoyas were. This really hairy one, Masoniana, 17. This is, I think, begonia luxuriance. Yes, 20. Nice. Those are really big. Hold on. Let me try and show you the full plants. There's two in a pot. And the leaves are really big already. Nice. This is that other begonia I pointed out. 35. Himalayan. Let me put this back. Leave it as you found it. Don't ruin it. Nice begonia rex. Or like the swirl. I think they're all rex, right? I'm so new to begonias, I have no idea, but begonia 17, it doesn't say the name. This one's also quite nice with the silver. Trying to find names and stuff for you, but not everything has it. Magic colors, 10. Beautiful maculata. Mine unfortunately dried out too much and died, 15. And some of the more common ones, I think my friend Ans really likes this one. Two face? No. Bee leaf. Nine euros. Some more maculatas. Some amphioxes as well. That's funny, flowering amphioxes. Eight? I cannot say prices anymore. Eight. And really bright pink red ones. Bee leaf. Six. And some zizis. Look at this cutie. I remember when I first saw these. They're so weird. They're soft, but they look hard. And I forgot the name Norfolk Pine, or I don't know. And a really nice Publicalix as well. Pubicalix with very, very dark leaves. Trying to see the prices, but these are in pots, so it's a little bit harder. So sorry about that. Ooh, and look over here. I think these are some kind of hybrid of Cooperi, Haworthia. 
You know the glass Haworthias that you can see through? These are five. And it's gonna flower. This is that variegated monstera I showed you at the beginning that I was very impressed by. Look at this, it is so big. There's so many stems in there and the price is just as big. 1,899 euros. Whoa. And I think that's it for this tour. If you enjoyed this tour, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps. I selected a few more videos for you to watch if you want a few more planty content. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that below or join even my membership or my Patreon. I can't see you anymore. My glasses are fogging up when I talk this much. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.